This is the AEW Collision September 6, 2024 full show results video which takes place at Now Arena in Chicago, Illinois. John Moxley and Marina Schaffer are shown arriving backstage before the broadest team continues to run through the card for AEW All Out. Then we saw an AEW Continental Contenders Challenge match between Lance Archer vs Mark Briscoe and the result of this match was Mark Briscoe defeated Lance Archer by pinfall after hitting the Froggy Bow finisher to qualify for the four-way match for the Continental Championship tomorrow night at All Out. Backstage, Chris Jericho, alongside Big Bill and Brian Keith, sends a message to the conglomeration. He says it's time for Tomohiro Ishii to go back to Japan and Big Bill and Brian Keith say time runs out for every man, including this one. The camera pans down to Ishii knocked out beneath Jericho's foot with a chair wrapped around his head. The next match happened between Grizzled Young Veterans vs Iron Savages, and the result of this match was Grizzled Young Veterans defeated Iron Savages after hitting the Grit Your Teeth finisher. FTR hits the ring afterward and a brawl erupts and the Grizzled Young Vets barely escape just as FTR is about to catch them to hit the Shatter Machine. Jack Jameson raised FTR's hands in celebration, but they hit him with the Shatter Machine instead. Orange Cassidy cuts a promo on Brian Keith, saying he's going to get revenge for Ishii. Then tomorrow he's going to win the Continental title and put it in his backpack along with the $7,000 in cash. The next match happened between Orange Cassidy vs Brian Keith, and the result of this match was Orange Cassidy defeated Brian Keith by pinfall when Orange followed up by flying off the top rope and catching Brian in a DDT on the landing for the three count and qualify for the four-way match for the Continental Championship tomorrow night at All Out. Chris Jericho is backstage and he steals Orange Cassidy's backpack and says he's keeping it until Orange pays him back the $7,000. Mercedes Moan cuts a promo on Hikaru Shida. She says Camille may be banned at All Out, but she's not banned tonight. Keep watching and you'll find out what happens when you mess with Mercedes Moan. The next match happened between the Outrunners vs Davy Bang and August Matthews, and the result of this match was the Outrunners won the match by pinfall and it's the first time the Outrunners ever won on AEW television. Willow Nightingale and Chris Statlander have a sit-down interview with Renee Paquette. Statlander says when she was TBS champion, she gave Willow a shot, but Willow didn't reciprocate when she had the strap and Willow vows to make Statlander pay for her betrayal in their street fight. The next match happened between Kanesuke Takashita vs The Beast Mordos, and the result of this match was Kanesuke Takashita defeated The Beast Mordos by pinfall after hitting the Raging Fire finisher and qualifying for the four-way match for the Continental Championship tomorrow night at All Out. Backstage, Soraya, alongside Harley Cameron, calls out Jamie Hayter and makes it clear she's frustrated that Hayter ruined her moment at AEW All In. She says that Hayter will get a match with them soon and Cameron says Soraya is in a lot of trouble. In a promo backstage, AEW Women's World Champion Mariah May comments on her title win and says she gets off on fights. She says she hasn't shaken hands with anyone in the locker room. May notes that she still hasn't had her championship celebration, but AEW All Out is tomorrow, teasing that it will be there. The next match happened between Hikaru Shida vs Diana Perazzo, and the result of this match was Hikaru Shida defeated Diana Perazzo by pinfall after hitting the katana finisher. Mercedes Mon makes her entrance to interrupt Sheeta's celebration and Sheeta's attention is drawn towards Mercedes, Camille attacks Hikaru from behind. Mon grabs the kendo stick and takes a swing, but Sheeta avoids it and Camille is hit instead. Sheeta whacks Mon with the stick and lays her out with the katana to stand tall. Backstage, FTR are asked about grizzled young veterans attacking them and Dax Harwood says grizzled young veterans remind him of FTR and challenges the grizzled young veterans to face them next week. In an interview, the acclaimed discusses their recent run and says their road to the tag team titles continues. Mexem Collection interrupt, saying that nobody wants them in AEW and looks forward to their match against House of Black. The acclaimed say that everyone loves the acclaimed, and they walk away. In the main event of the show, we saw an eight-man tag team match between Pac, Brian Danielson, Claudio Castagnoli, and Wheeler Yuta vs Kazuchika Okada, Jack Perry and the Young Bucks and the result of this match was Pac, Brian Danielson, Claudio Castagnoli, and Wheeler Yuta won the match by pinfall when Claudio catches Nicholas in the giant swing and Wheeler finishes it off with the kick. The Outrunners are interviewed backstage and they are thrilled about their big win on Collision, at least until John Moxley and Marina Schaffer show up from behind and take them out and the Collision goes off the air.